morning, Basil Babes. I don't have my, I don't even know where to look on the cell phone, honey. I, do I look over here or do I look there? I don't know. But child, I want to tell y'all, I didn't have time to grab my camera this morning. I dropped Clinton off at the uh, Little Caesars, child. Try to get him a job. Let me tell you. We're going to go to one other place. He don't know it yet, but he just walked in. And I was like, well, how do you deal with rude customers? So I was trying to interview him, you know, to get him pumped up this morning, whatever. How you deal with rude customers? You always have a professional attitude because that's what we represent at Little Caesars. Professional. That was quick. What happened, Clinton? Clint, Clint, what happened? I'm not saying the manager wasn't even there. The manager not there? There was a manager there, but not the main manager. So what they say? They just, like, he, he called the real manager and he just asked, like, what is he supposed to do? And I obviously couldn't hear the conversation. And he just asked me, <clears throat> what did I, like, why do I, like, what? I'm glad what they asked you, Joe. He said, he said, uh, what did you apply for? Like, what, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to work here? He's, and I was like, I'm not sure. I just applied for the crew. Like, I don't really know. And then he was like, oh, I understand. Yeah, you applied for the crew. And he's like, what do you want your starting pay to be? And I was like, oh. Shoot. I don't should have talked about that. I was like, I don't know. He's like, he's like, it's probably going to be seven fifty at the start. And I was like, okay. So, th that that's it? Oh, this is you talking to your friend or talking to the manager over no, phone? No, talking to the manager. But this isn't, like, the like the main, like, manager. So, what, did, did you come back? What yes, happened? Yes, and he said, the manager will be here from open to close tomorrow. So, you come back tomorrow. What time? He said, whenever. Because the manager told me yesterday, um, Saturdays at 10, 10.30. Okay, well, obviously not, because he wasn't there. All right, so would you like to go to Pump It Up, that place with the no. kid? I think that'd be great for no. you. How about that other jumping no. place um, down further? <clears throat> what do you call that place? Sky Zone. Yeah, why you don't want to do Sky Zone? Because I already applied here. But this is not guaranteed. You always apply several you jobs. You already said that. Okay, you, but you no. want to put... You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. No. When I'm looking for work, I apply at several jobs, Clinton. So where else can we go since we out? Let's choose one other place. No. Where would you like to go? No. I've already applied at one place and I'm supposed to come in tomorrow. So I don't want So you going tomorrow to where? To here. Okay, so how about one other place? No. We're out and about, Clinton. I don't want to go to another place, Mom. But when you're looking for work, you apply no, at several Mom, places. I'm 16. I don't need to apply at several different places, Mom. Where are you getting this information from? Because I'm 16. I don't need to do that. Why don't you need to do that? Because so I you already, think I'm already coming back tomorrow. And I'm already probably going to get the job. So it doesn't even matter. I'm not, no. I hear the girls fighting. Child, I just got back from Clinton's shenanigans. I didn't have my camera, sorry about that. I am so annoyed, beyond annoyed. How I get up, get him ready, cut his hair, do everything to prepare him for his interview. Um, you know, was we were, um, I was giving him an interview, possible interview questions. Let's figure out what we're going to say. Because that's what you have to do when you go for a job interview. You need to do what you call mock interviews. Look up common questions that they're going to ask. So when you get to the interview site, you are prepared. <clears throat> Why should we hire you? What makes you the best person for this job? How are you going to deal with irate customers? How are you uh, working with the team? What are you looking to get out of this job? What are your hours? How much do you expect to make? Do you have reliable transportation? Just various questions that they ask you. You can even Google stuff like that to prepare you for an interview, child. There's always stuff that um, out there that you can find to help you always go prepared, always look well and stuff before your interview. 
And if you don't have a resume, you don't have a resume, but you want to include things or be able to talk about things that you've done at school. <laughs> what organizations have you worked on at school or been a part of in school? Have you been involved in any clubs? How you work well with other people? Um, some projects, some projects that you've worked on where you've had to work with a team. How do you deal with people who who are not pulling oh, their weight? Oh, I was part of student council. Oh, I was in the, the, the band and when you were in the band, you really have to work with the team. So you say all those things, how you were a team player. Um, you, you're very punctual, you're reliable, um, you're a hard worker, you're dedicated. So those are all qualities that employers are looking for. So there are different things that you can use as far as experience from school, um, volunteer gigs, um, have you worked at a soup kitchen? That's building your resume. So all those little things you've done at school, use those things to build your resume. And if you have just, if you haven't done anything, which is fine. Have you have you ever done any babysitting? Have you ever walked dogs? Have you ever had to, you know, set up for a party? Those are good organizational skills. You need skills to do that. How did you do that? What was the most challenging things? Stuff like that. So you can build your resume with no work experience because you haven't been sitting in a dark hole. You've done stuff at school. You've had little projects at school. So use that. If you've done stuff with your church, sure, you better use all that stuff. That's that's experience. So those are some tips. If you if you don't have any experience, so, you you'll be okay. You'll be okay. But when you also when you're going for a job, you apply at several different places, not just one place. When you're applying for colleges. You apply at several different colleges, not just one. Because if you sitting around waiting for that one job that doesn't work out, you back to where you started. But if you put resumes out and you fill out several applications, it it, it, it enhances your chances of, of at least somebody giving you a call back. Don't fill out one place. I'm going to be like, you just walking by something. You just like, hey, I'm here picking up some bread. Mm, let me just fill out this application since I'm this right next door. You know. But I told that boy, let's go. I begged him. I said, you have me. We can go wherever you want to go. Let, let's just go. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. I don't know if I'm going to get so busy. I don't know. I go back to work. So I'm like, let's just go. You have me. We can go wherever you want. Let's go here. No, 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 no. And this is what I've learned. I may not know a lot. But one thing I do know, I know people. And this is what I learned. You can have someone who's so set in their ways and they have such tunnel vision, such tunnel vision that no matter what you say, they only see it their way. So it's like, I would be wasting my time. You're gonna be wasting your time trying to convince them of something else. I've dated people like that. I was like, I said, you can't rationalize with certain people because no matter what you say, you're wasting your time. You're wasting the air in your lungs. You're wasting the sun in the sky. Go and enjoy your day because no matter how much talking you do, it's not going to work. You could come up with legitimate reasons and excuses. They're only going to see it their way. So stop wasting your time with people like that. Sometimes even with somebody with girlfriend and boyfriend issues, you can talk to she, the boy that knocked upside her head a thousand times. And you be like, dude, he's hitting you. He degrades you. He does this. He he's does using this. for your coins. He doesn't, he doesn't help out. He doesn't do anything. Why? Talk to you blue in your face. Until somebody gets tired of something on their own, no matter what you say, it's not, it's not going to work. Not going to work. No matter what I said to Clinton, no matter how much rationalizing I said to him, in his mind, he was done. We went to one place. We left the house. We were probably back in 15 minutes. Tops. Maybe 20 minutes. We were back in his house. I'm dressed. Shy. I took a few minutes to curl my little hair in the front. And I don't be doing that very often. You know, I just wake it up and go. And back, back. So I'm about to make some fish cakes or salmon cakes, croquettes, salmon croquettes, how you like to call them. I make those good. I make good everything. And some cheesy grits. I like my grits cheesy, hot, 
whole bunch of cheese and butter, salt and pepper, baby. And then we're gonna chop up some broccoli. Oh, right. it's good, honey. You know I make good everywhere. Now let me tell you, grits be making me go to sleep. Grits and pancakes. I don't know what's in those things, but I'll be ready for a nap after I eat that stuff, honey. So anyway, I didn't even mean to talk about that. So after we eat, I'm gonna take Bobby to a couple of little places so she can apply for a job. And she needs to condition herself for basketball. So I'm gonna see if I can get her a little basketball gold thing. Gotta wait to pay me for that. So I kinda wanna invest because she wants to try out for the team next year. But if you're not doing anything, you're not staying conditioned, is she, is she gonna have a hard time? So all the coaches are like, but what are you doing this summer? What are you gonna be doing? Cause if you're not doing anything, you kinda lose those skills. So, and I told her, I said, if I invest in this little basketball, I don't think they're that expensive. If I invest in this basketball gold stuff, you're going to have to use it, my dear. You you have to use that. And she said, I will, I will. So, she says, I need to condition my own, but I don't even like walking up the stairs to see what they're doing. I'm like, can y'all come down here? So, we'll see. I was just really disappointed with Clinton. I'm like... Let's just go. And I begged and I said, we can go wherever you want. I said, I will be your Uber driver. Nope. Just not motivated. Now he upstairs playing Fortnite. That was probably all he could think about, playing Fortnite. I'm not saying he's not going to get the job. Maybe he will. But typically when you're looking for work you go to a few places especially if you have somebody gonna drive you around to help you find a job and i said you want me to go inside with you he was like no mom i'll go i will talk for you honey we need to get you a job and get you out the house i told him on sundays he's not playing fortnite because i we need a break and then i looked up because all kids well most kids have summer reading it has been a proven fact that over the summer, um, most kids who do absolutely nothing over the summer, they, they lose one year of growth over the summer. The three months that you're doing nothing, you lose one year of educational growth over the summer. So I'm like, Bobby, does Clint have summer reading? You know, they go to the same school. Does he, he, because I asked him, where's your summer reading book? You need to read a book. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Mm -mm. A couple of weeks later, mm -mm. something not right. Y'all all have summer reading. My kids, I go back to work Monday. My kids have summer reading. We, I got the books all laid out. You better open that book. And uh, she looked it up. She was like, yes, he has summer reading. Clinton, you got to read. Oh, I do? You knew you had a summer reading book, sucker. Mm -hmm. You can't play a player, homie. You can't play a player. You know what I'm saying? You can't play a player. <laughs> hmm. You better get, open a book. So now I got to go buy him a book. But make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and share out the page, okay? Because you know I got stories for days. I got one more story for y'all. It's a good one. It's about, no, it's kind of two. Mm, but this one is about another boy. Mm. You better believe me, this one good, y'all. Maybe I get the girls down later. I will tell you that story. Because it's another life lesson. Another life lesson. You can never have too many life lessons. And when I'm not here, I want my girls and Clinton to be able to, to look at these videos. And maybe learn some. Learn from my mistakes. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. They can learn what not to do. Because growing up in my household, I learned what not to do. That, those are the role models I have to do the complete opposite. And that's just what I did. So maybe they'll look at my videos and do the complete opposite. I'll be like, oh, that's good. You know, I'm going to do that with my kids. I'll be like, oh, I'm not doing what my mama did. So, you know, whichever way you want to take it, take it for what it's worth. What not to do, what to do. The choice is yours. So hopefully uh, my kids will see these things. And psychologically... I'm getting close to the age where my mom passed away. She's been gone a long time, so it's like, come on. So I'm getting close to the age where my mom passed away. So psychologically, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, you know, 
kind of the same. So I was like, Joy, make as many videos as you can for the kids. You know, so, you know, my, my life diary and, and, and I want to impart my wisdom on them and my experiences on them. So they have them for them or for their children. I don't know if I'll be around to see grandchildren, but maybe I will. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't hey, girl. Hey. I don't think we have butter. That's a problem. Didn't I just talk about buttery grits? We don't got no butter. Girl, where my car keys? Mm-mm. We gotta have some butter on some grits, child.